Okay, this is it. We are out in McLaren 675 LT Spider. I'm not sure if this week could get much better. We've been out in some great cars so far, but this, this is the cherry on the cake. Right now, we just left the hotel. We're taking it steady. Obviously, I want to take you guys along for this ride and explain to you what this car is like. You can immediately tell straight away that the car's lighter, it's been stripped out, but it's still really compliant when we're going slow and steady. Um, I'm just super excited to get up again in that mountain and experience this gear shift. I just had a, a bit of a squirt down a short uh, stretch of motorway just now, and on the upshifts, these cracks you get on the upshifts are pretty special. Let's see uh, if we can replicate one now. <laughs> wow, so cool, so so cool. So the LT then is how I would relate. It is the 458 Speciale of the McLaren world. So they've taken the 650S stripped it out. I think the, the weight saving is only around 50 kilograms, but that's not all. We've got a full titanium exhaust system. And I think the best way of describing this thing is... <laughs> that's the best way of describing this thing. Wow. Oh God, the front end turning. Wow, it's like on rails seats as well. I'm not sure if they come standard in this car, the sports seats, but they hug you. It's like I've just slipped into my own body glove. Oh, good God. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this? This is not from this planet. McLaren! What are you doing? What on earth is this witchcraft? I am experiencing something otherworldly here, guys. <laughs> what? Can you hear that? Can you hear this? Where do we go from here? Get on the phone to your accountant, donate organs. You need one of these in your driveway. <laughs> Incredibly, I mean, I've just been out in a 650S. I haven't edited that video yet. In that video, I was saying that, you know, because you can't buy one of these things anymore, it's made the 650S so relevant because it, it is now McLaren's flagship car. Unfortunately, this thing is so damn good, you can't ignore it. It's, I don't know, why have you only made 500 of these, McLaren? It's, I mean, it's fantastic for those who own one, because obviously part of the experience is exclusivity. Oh, God! <laughs> part of the experience is exclusivity. 500 worldwide, pretty exclusive. But it's such a shame that... I'm gonna be honest with you, that I can't get one. <laughs> this is savagery. This is absolute savagery. What on earth? So, in the last few weeks, I've been in experiences where if you watch my videos, concentration I have to have driving this car is throwing me out but I've said it several times lately I'm having ex I'm having experiences lately where my vocabulary does not convey how absolutely incredible the scenario I'm in is I think the 675 LT just tuck that to 11, ripped up the rule book, and spat it out. I don't 
even if I did have the words, it would not convey how absolutely insane this car is. We're gonna have to make up a word, guys. And I honestly, I'm saying this genuinely. Let's together submit it in the comments below. I need to come up with a word that conveys just ludicrous amounts of excitement, lunacy, sheer joy and gobsmacking, just wowness. Um, because I'm having a lot of them lately and I think I just need to condense it into one word or into something that sort of helps sum up just what the hell is going on. Normally I would complain about being stuck behind a truck, but right now I just need a mi I just need a moment. I need to just whew, relax, take it on board what I'm sat in right now. This is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a fantastic thing because already 15 minutes in is one of the best driving experiences of my life. It's a bad thing because, well, where do I go from here? I'm, I'm gonna go back and listen up. The cars that I drive on a daily basis are absolutely incredible. Don't get me wrong. But there's something about this. It feels next generation. It feels of another world. Those pops and cracks add so much drama. From a turbocharged car, <laughs> it's like a roller coaster for the road. Oh, and the steering rack is nice. I mean, that is a really tight switch back, and you'll notice we can thread it with the cross of the wrists. What possessed you to make this? It's absolutely amazing. Do you need anything more than this? I mean, I know there's an element of supercars and you do become accustomed to the acceleration on most cars. When you put your right foot down in this, you sort of time warp, like I need Han Solo here to help me pilot the attack on the sensors that is warp speed in the LT. Look where we are as well, just at the vista. Now, let's not forget, this still has the hydraulically linked suspension from an A650S. Yes, it is a stiffer car all round, but look, you've just witnessed what this thing is capable of. You've just seen it go up that mountain like nothing I've ever experienced. And yet, there we were just now, floating through a village, 30 miles an hour, automatic mode, and it was docile, composed, and a lovely place to be. Even these hugging sports seats, they're not uncomfortable at all. The way they've been positioned is spot on. So yeah, as an all-round package, this thing could be a Tomahawk missile of a car, or you can swan along the coast in automatic with your suspension plush and soft, and just swan along. That's something else, actually. Whatever they've done with the steering on this car, it feels brilliant. It's very, very good. It definitely has more uh, feedback than a 650S. It's got more uh, weight to it. Yeah, it's um, it's spectacular, guys. It is absolutely spectacular. This is an interesting test. Tunnel. Sold. Sold. Take my money and take me to paradise, baby. This is the vehicle. <laughs> sell your kids, sell the house, bribe the accountant, whatever it takes. You need one of these. What a weapon. I don't need to summarize, do I? That's it, that was it. 30 seconds, tunnel run, crack on the upshift, slam down on the ceramic brakes, and the active aero, it's like it's throwing a parachute out. 